So Crispy, I came across your story online and I was very interested and I wanted to do an interview today. You know, so how did the uh, how did the beef with the Tech Nine and the record label start? You know, what was the cause of all that? Nah, uh, the beef between me and Tech Nine. Um, it started with the label when I met Twisted and Insane. I did a collab with him, and then after that, you know, I linked up with Tech Nine and his crew through Ski TV Live. It's so dope right now. Yeah. Every day you wake up, what do you think about? The first word, the first thing. When I wake up, the first thought on my mind is pussy. <laughs> and then I met Chris Calico, did a collab with him. Awesome, definitely. I do have a, a song that's finished and done. If worse comes to worse, I'll just have him get on that, and then from there, just uh, kind of get hit. Exactly, exactly. And then once I get his collab, just create something else behind that beat, you know? I mean, yeah, that's what you want to do. It's, it's, you know, once you can, you can mix it however you'd like to. Okay, awesome, definitely, because I want to get that collab done as quick as possible and then jump on one of those beats. And then after the collab with me and Chris Calico, I spoke with the label, I spoke with everybody. And everybody is supposed to, you know, you know, make an agreement about sharing it on Twitter and stuff. The song me and him did, well, months later I haven't heard back from Tech Nine or his crew or his label and Travis. So, you know, I was wondering what was going on. I gave him a call and uh, Corey Lloyd kept, you know, ignoring my phone calls, ignoring my phone calls. Well... Months later, Ritz comes out with the same song me and Chris Calico did. Yo, Chris B. What up, Chris? I was thinking the other day, man, that as I walk through the valley of... I'm only human. I'm only human. I'm only human. Check it out. Same song title, uh, except just one word. Mine was only human. It's got, uh, you know... Yeah, yeah, 105,000 views. On yeah, that one. correct, exactly. You did your research, but yeah. So I did that. It's got 105. It's only human, and on my hook, you know, I sing, "I'm only human, I'm only human." You mm -hmm. know what I mean? A couple times, and I, uh, then I Ritz come across is. Ritz, and it's the, it seems like the team and the label just sat there, talked about it, planned it, took my creation, took my idea, my song, and went and uploaded a song with the Ritz called the same thing. I'm only human. Yeah, the and, only difference is the I'm. Yeah, the only difference is the I'm. So, you know, period, though, the matter of the fact is, is this label stole my creation, stole my work, and trying to claim it as their own and trying to brush me under the carpet. As if that's not obvious enough. Exactly. A year correct. later, For years and a couple years. months. Yeah. yeah, a couple months later, I did it back in, I think, 2016, and he dropped it, uh, you know, back in August, and he came out in, you know, 2017, a couple months, a few January months later, or something, some, like, something that. like that, yeah. exactly. And same hook, same title, and everything. And then ranked it up, and you know, shot it up, and advertised it, promoted it, to, it is you know, very similar, rank over I me. That. Exactly, <laughs> very similar. Yeah. So they stole my work, stole my creation. So wow. everybody on Facebook is uh, sitting here like, why are you going at Tech Nine like this? Why are you saying he's not independent? What's your deal? With I do, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like I look at Twitter and I get mad at a motherfucker when they say something fucked up, and he tell me, why you do that? They got three followers. I don't give a fuck. He said it. With him, well, I have more of a deal with him than just not being fully independent like he claims. My deal is he's still in my creation, still in my work, and it has been years, okay? You guys, I, I did a collab with him and worked with him back in 2014, 2015, and I've bit my tongue and I've held my lip since, you know, then. And it's been what now? What is it? 2000, 2019. 2019, four years later. Four years later, I let them brush me, give me the cold shoulder, kick me off, you know, do everything they could just to throw me down, down, you know, a hole to not get seen, get noticed. I don't know what the issue is. You know, anybody that I actually went out to, the funny thing is, and I give a little props to any type of artist or something that was small time, it's like Tech Nine seen it too, and he'd go and start messing with them and sign them or do something to put them on their label instantly, just to kind of like, you know, brush me off or do something, you know. And uh, what's, what sucks too is, uh, the 
first time I met Tech Nine. Actually, I don't know if you've seen the video on YouTube or not. On Ski TV. Correct. Yeah, correct. Exactly, Ski TV. So, um, uh, Twisting and Sane, his manager, um, Chris Mays, hit me up and he was like, "Hey, yo, the homeboy Twisting and Sane. I know you guys worked and did like four or five songs together." Chris, we got the shadow, man, perfect, got the power. Sour Diesel got me. He's coming down to LA. He wants you to pick him up out in LA at the airport. I'm like, what, me? I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'm oh, like, that's when you guys hung out on your yacht. Yeah, exactly. Fuck the basketball. All right, Lakers. You're leaving this, bitch. Right, so it was like, we're going to go to the basketball game. What's that place in it, Lakers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, I yeah, we kicked it on my yacht. So we went out there. Whoop whoop, you know, I picked them up from the airport. Uh, you know, we shot over to, uh, you know, uh, Chris Calico and all them. We met up with them and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, met Tech Nine. We all chilled and stuff like that for a little bit. And then uh, they did the show. They killed the show. They even put us on their TV show, Ski TV. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys show that, see that. You'll probably put a little clip in that or something oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> so dope right now. Yep. Every day you wake up, what do you think about the first word? First thing. When I wake up, the first thought on my mind is pussy. <laughs> so, you know, we popped it off and stuff. You know, we killed the, they killed the show, and then uh, afterwards, I took Twisting and Sane uh, back to my yacht. And you know, I got him some pussy. I got him laid. You know, fucking bitch squirted all over him and shit. You know, we all got fucking drunk. I got videos and shit on YouTube of that too. Oh, yeah, fun guys night. Got the boy Twisting and Sane. Drink. Gonna drink this liquor we getting. To the what? Terrible. Better watch out with my dreams. Oh, hell yeah. She said he about to knock it. Knock this shit. Let's see it. He nah, said he I about to kill the air. <laughs> <laughs> to the face. <laughs> watch this shit. He about watch to this. knock this whole bottle back. Watch oh, look this. at it. Look at it. Watch the whole bottle go. Oh. Look no, 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 no. Pirates do. That ain't the oh. whole bottle. <laughs> hey, that's a good swing, but that, like he said, that ain't the whole bottle. Started. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're chilling, chilling, having a good time, you know, so from that point on, that's how, you know, me and Tech 9 and, and the label met up and clicked up and stuff like that, and ever since then, they, they loved me, they told me I was great, they, you know, I had mad skill and stuff like that, they wanted to work with me, they reached out to me. That's why they even did the collab with you, because exactly. they met you. They met me, you they knew who I was, they liked my work, I was trademarked for my artist's name, I was all legal, legitimate, they couldn't get no trademark infringement, no copyright, I knew my laws, knew my music business, so they fucked with me, you know? <clears throat> Once they talked about it with the whole label and everything, they realized that I was trademarked and copyrighted, so they couldn't sign me, they couldn't make money off of me, they couldn't, couldn't own, own me. You. Exactly, so what they did is they stole my creation, used it that way, and they're signing these other artists out there who aren't trademarked and don't own their own label like I do, and everything else and claiming. And a lot of people, and that's why fans on Facebook and all social media are like... People don't understand what a trademark they, is. They don't understand all that legal stuff that you have to do with music, otherwise I would have got my creation to Rob Moore. They would have signed another artist and named him Chris B. That's what they would have done, you yeah. know, if I wasn't yeah. trademarked. <laughs> but anyways, besides all that, so my fans on Facebook and, and a lot of people are like, you know, siding with him, siding with me, don't understand what's going on. And they're like, oh, why are you out of the blue being such a dick? Why are you so mean? Why are you doing all this outrageous stuff? You know, you get pushed around for years and years by so many people and just get pushed under when you know you're good and you have so much talent and you've tried so hard. You can't tell me you wouldn't be pissed off too. I do, man. You know what I'm saying? saying it's like I look at Twitter and I get mad at a motherfucker when they say something fucked up and he tell me why you do that they got three followers I don't give a fuck he said it you yourself oh, I would. I would be you know what I mean like right now with your career and your interviews oh, and I would stuff be very angry. you know so uh, that's that's why I just said fuck it and I just started throwing everything on blast started being rude and I noticed when I was nice I'd get no reaction no comments no nothing you know once you start being an Asshole, once you start doing rude shit and being a dick, everybody wants to talk about it. Everybody wants to share it, you know. And no matter what, if I post a good or positive, you know, negative or positive, people are gonna talk crap no matter what it is I do. That's so, why. if me happen to be an asshole is what gets you guys to spread the word, I guess that's what I have to be. But that's just the whole scoop, and that's just the whole layout about me and this whole twist and insane, you know, uh, Tech Nine thing and everything else like that. The twist and insane little small beef. I still got love for the guy, but you know that little thing. You know, that's just whatever. I don't give a damn about that. But this thing with Tech Nine, 
and strange music and all that and you know that's what got me heated so and and like if you heard in that interview too with Corey Lloyd on the phone and uh, strange music uh, the moment we did the song together worked together and I was supposed to release it on the Twitter like I mentioned too they went over with the whole label and stuff like that and, then and a couple months later, a couple months later once we actually did the song music. linked together did everything they took my creation did it for the Brits anyways uh, I'm, I'm kind of over this interview <clears throat> I'm tuning out uh, anything else you want to ask? Uh, no, that is all. Thank you so much, Crispy. Have a wonderful night. Thanks Definitely. for your time. Definitely. Thank you. Peace. <clears throat>